Hi, this is James Flynn. It's James the Wine Guy here to share this bottle with you today. This is from the producer Skoke Matyash and Zoltan, and it's from the Maitre region. And bring this a little closer so you can see the label itself. This is a Pinot Gris 2009, and it's a 13% alcohol wine. And I like the silhouette, a very slender silhouette. And the label itself, the design, this is for all their entire wine line, is this really nice, simplified, contemporary label. Very beautiful. Turn the back panel around. And I think for me, this is a, a really nice testament to see how Hungary is just producing some phenomenal wines. This is a gorgeous wine. And not to really overextend that, I think it's just, it has such a, a fineness to its acid um, profile. I think it's just coming out and it's being this lyrical wine. So it's extremely light, pale colored wine. And the signatures are familiar. This is a definitive Pinot you know, Gris. Tasting this and it's knowing that it is a the definitive grape, but it's also a signature from Hungary. So while you may taste some from Italy or from the Alsatian region of France or the US or wherever else in the world, it just is fantastically imparting notes that are, I think, really particular to the area. So I'll take a little taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. Mmm, so superbly dry. And I love this wine because it's gonna go so well with food or as a standalone wine. And I think that's a challenge with Pinot Gris. If it's gonna impart too much wood or maybe a, too much of a, say, residual sugar um, profile, though it may not have a residual sugar base to it. This is really one of these definitive wines that it's gonna go so well with so many food styles. Asian food, Italian food, Mediterranean food, uh, a wine to just enjoy on its own. I think it's a fantastically gorgeous wine. Uh, I'm thinking oysters, clams, shellfish are gonna go extremely well with this wine. I think, and also for the price point, this is approximately twelve ninety five. Depends where you are; it could be a little more expensive, but that's a really good value for this quality of wine. Now the notes on this wine are really splendid, extremely dry, as I said before. Blood orange zest, some green citrus, a hint of pineapple, Adriatic fig, and a little almond. So I give this wine a nine point two of a ten point zero scale. For more reviews, please go to jameswineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. So give a follow, give a look and uh, give a join, give a like. Thank you very much and salute.